guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So this is a painting I did a while back with leftover paint. Um, if you didn't see that video, I'll put the link down in the description. But I had said that I wanted to add some sea turtles. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I'm just gonna add, I think, two sea turtles. I feel like maybe one right here and maybe one right here. I tend to do two or three. Let's see, actually one right here and one right here. So um, to start with, we're gonna make an egg shaped body and I'm just using regular black acrylic paint. This is um, Artist Loft Acrylics, not the Flow Acrylics, but just regular acrylics. So we're gonna make Make these as big as you want. I start small and then I go bigger. I'm gonna zoom in a little more for you here. There we go, okay. So I like to not make them too big because we don't wanna detract from the painting, we wanna just add to it. So nice, big, egg-shaped body there. Go ahead and do this one as well. It helps to have um, a really good paintbrush when you're doing this, like detail brush. The one I have is not really good, <laughs> just to warn you. Uh, but I kind of use what's nearest on hand. All right, I think those are good sizes. Wanna make sure that it is really filled in All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to start with um, the tail. So for the tail, you can add a little line. I like to just kind of add a little point to the end of the body here. Because it depends on how you're looking at that turtle, but it may not necessarily look like it's really separate from the shell. and. These are just silhouettes of the turtle. Okay, so then for the head, I do a little diamond shape. And I'm very sorry this is tiny, but they do have tiny heads in relation to their body. So there's one, another little diamond over here, just like kind of like a snake head, similar. Good. And then the arms, now these are sea turtles, so their arms are quite big. Start near their head, go up a bit, and then curve down. And then adjust the size. Make it a bit bigger near the body here. And that's about it. Go ahead and do the other side. Do your best to make the other side similar. <laughs> Um, and that's another good thing about starting small is if you do that, you have a little room to adjust to make them equal sizes. If you start with the arms too big and then you have to keep adjusting, well, then you end up with like really big arms. All right. And then their little back legs are just small. So I just add two little lines here really near the tail and that is it. So we're going to go ahead and finish up the other guy. Same thing, I'm gonna tilt the canvas a little bit, make it easier on myself. So, starting here, add these arms, or fins, or whatever you wanna call them. And then throw in the legs. Keyword here is keep it simple. Do not make it complicated. There we go. All right, I'm gonna zoom back out so we can see the overall picture here. And here we are. I am in love with this. Um, this painting will be going into my next art auction coming up 
in just a few weeks. I don't have an exact date yet, but it will be in the next one. And all the proceeds from this particular painting will be going to Baby Jackson. I will put some information about him down in the description box, so please check that out. And otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you guys give the sea turtles a go. Let me know if you try this and how it goes for you because um, it should be pretty simple. But, you know, you can always let me know if you need help. And I will see you guys next time.